let's talk about the sos free diet if this is your first time hearing about the sos free diet when i say sos i do not mean save our souls i mean sugar oil and salt My name is Makena and I'm here to help you make lifestyle changes that will enable you to live a happier, healthier and wealthier life. So what an SOS free diet essentially is, is a diet that excludes sugar, oil and salt. That means you do not add sugar, oil or salt to your food while you eat. Or as you're cooking so as you're cooking your food you do not add salt neither do you use oil or sugar so there are people out here who do not add salt oil or sugar to their food while cooking or while eating so a major reason why people choose to go SOS free is because salt oil and sugar are known to increase the pleasurable qualities of food and some companies have taken advantage of that and they have gone overboard in order to promote overconsumption of their product so companies know that salt oil and sugar make generally make food taste better and make you desire to eat more of the food let's just pause and take this example if you eat food that has that is well salted and well seasoned and then you have another plate of food that has no salt of course people immediately notice when food has no salt and they're like this food has no salt give me the salt so that's what i'm talking about so some companies have gone overboard they're taking advantage of that in order to get you hooked on their products in order for you to uh, over consume their products and uh, for a lot of them the aim is the more you consume the more money they make so they're willing to do whatever it takes even going overboard in terms of the amount of sugar oil and salt they're adding to their product and you will notice the weirdest of things you'll just see sugar in, in something that necessarily should not have sugar like ketchup i don't understand why ketchup needs to have sugar in there i really don't get it if it's from tomatoes if it's from tomatoes i don't know why they're adding sugar okay i actually do know why they're adding sugar it's because of what i'm talking about right now but at first i didn't understand why ketchup had sugar and then i came to learn about you know the sos free diet and why it exists it's because some companies have chosen to, to take things overboard so people on a sos free diet have chosen not to eat foods that have added sugar oils and salt for those reasons another reason is diets that are high in sodium high in fat high in sugar are associated with increased risk of several diseases among them is chronic illnesses which kill millions of people every year so high fat and high sugar diets are associated with several diseases such as cardiovascular diseases diabetes and cancer so in order to avoid or reduce risk of getting some of these diseases there are individuals who have chosen to be on a sos free diet they have chosen to eliminate sugar oil and salt from their diet so in an sos free diet the foods that are allowed or the foods that are okay include whole grains vegetables fruits legumes nuts and seeds all that you can eat in a sos free diet now the foods that people on sos free diets do not eat include processed carbs junk food fast food other types of processed foods alcohol caffeine and any other kinds of foods that have added sugars oils and salts some of the benefits that you may experience on a sos free diet include it allows you to save your money you'll be buying whole organic food in the market which tends to be cheaper i know it may differ from country to country the ss free diet may also save you from lifestyle diseases or chronic illnesses 
that are associated with high consumption of sugar, salt, and oils. The third thing is it saves you from overconsumption, especially of now the junk food, the fast food, the processed foods that now some of the companies are pushing for people to have more of. And as a result, you're able to maintain a healthy life, a healthy weight, overconsumption of a lot of these foods that are high in sodium, high in sugar, actually lead to weight gain and many other things. So you save yourself from overconsumption, that's saving yourself from being overweight, obese. The other thing it saves you from is food cravings and food addictions. I've never heard someone saying they're addicted to cabbage or addicted to kale or addicted to spinach. Maybe there are people out there. I've not found those people. If you are out there and you're addicted to cabbage, addicted to spinach, addicted to kale, please let me know in the comment section so that I know you exist. For a lot of people, you will find that they crave things like ice cream, they crave fries, they crave foods that are high in sugar, high in sodium, or high in salt, or high in these unhealthy fats and oils. So being on an SOS-free diet, the food cravings and the food addiction are eliminated. The other thing is that it saves you from high blood pressure. If you eat high amounts of salt, the extra water stored in your body tissues does raise your blood pressure and the higher the, your blood pressure the greater the strain on your heart your kidneys and your brain so if you're someone who has high blood pressure you want to reduce your consumption of sodium your consumption of sugar and oils you want to reduce to something tolerable as recommended by your doctor or if your doctor has asked you to eliminate salt oils and sugar now you know the reason why but being on an sos free diet can help you maintain healthy blood pressure can also help you reduce blood pressure so my question for you today is would you be able to maintain an sos free diet meaning you will no longer be eating food that has added sugar added salt or added oils do you think you can survive do you think you have the ability to let me know in the comments or if you are told to eliminate one of these three things salt oil and sugar which one would it be let me know in the comments if you can be able to hack an sos free diet with that said make sure to watch my other videos where i talk about nutrition fitness and healthy living see you next time